Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Honda Civic RS. Now, Civic has been one of the best selling models for Honda since many many years, since 14 years back when it was first launched and it is one of the favorite JDM cars. Uh, like, it, obviously there are a, to way too many cars before this but this is one of the best cars as well and if you know anything about Civic or if you are a Honda enthusiast or a Civic enthusiast you know how well this car is and pretty much everyone wants to get a hand on this so the model in question is this new generation of Honda Civic which is the 2019 RS so what really is an RS first thing so what Honda has done is they've taken the, the normal Civic and then under the bonnet they've done a quite a bit of magic and then they are VTEC technology and all of that combined and they've managed to get 180 brake horsepower from a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine yes that is pretty magical and I'm going to come to the drive video as well because let me tell you this car is super amazing to drive and handles like a gem but anyways continuing let's let's move around uh, around the car and just see what all styling changes that honda has done for this rs model and then we'll go on to the driving part so moving on the the first noticeable change that you see are the headlights and they've removed the chrome bit from the the standard honda civic which is so good because this black that black, black grill in the front looks so mean and it just makes the whole car look sleek and aggressive and ready to charge with your led headlamps in the front you get fog lamps as well you also get changes to your the, the design in the front as well where the fog lamp cluster is and all of that and there is a, a small little splitter as well in the front as well also the whole design is pretty aggressive there are like bold lines that go from the sides and to the back as well now moving on to the side as well and the aggressive design continues on the side as well you get very bold and very distinct lines on the side as a result you can see a very aggressive stance and the car it looks pretty much lifted from the back and kind of punching in the front and that's a pretty cool design feature and also an additional benefit now that you get is you get a spoiler also because this is an rs version so you get a spoiler at the back and that looks pretty cool as well now on the sides you also get button operated door handle so you can just enter with your key in your hand and then you can just press the button and the car will unlock itself and then you can open now at the back as i mentioned before you get a very sporty spoiler and this look which is pretty familiar if you have witnessed the civic from 2016 which is they are kind of scorpion shaped lights and and that just completes the whole aggressive look in the back with some small details out here the plastic bits but unfortunately these are just the plastic bits and they don't really function or do anything now in the back you get ample of storage space as well as you can see which is quite a bit of space but then honda has put uh, the speakers in the in the rear part so that is why there is not enough of space in the back and that is why you get a little less uh, space in the back what you also can do is there are the the seats in the, the rear seats are collapsible so you can just press this button out here on both sides and both the rear seats are collapsible so you can collapse the seats and then you get a lot of storage space after that but jump into this car and it is just bloody brilliant to drive i've never been so excited to drive a car this bad because let's be honest there are quite a few cars that handle that drive that perform so well anyways let's get started so this car comes with a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine and uh, it produces about 180 brake horsepower yes and 220 newton meters of torque and that's a very very brilliant figure compared to under the turbocharged engines that produces very similar kind of uh, which have very similar kind of capacity and also have the 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 power output which is far less than that but how has honda done this how i mean step on the throttle and it just <laughs> it just goes it, it just wants to go it, it just wants to 
go around fast. It, it just doesn't know going slow. It just, it just, it just wants to thra be thrashed around, and that's that's the fact about the Honda Civic because. As I mentioned before, Honda Civic has been one of the top selling cars for Honda and one of the best sedans that Honda has ever produced and this shows in this as well and starting off with the handling is so precise, it's so, it, it, it moves around like a dart, you know, when you want to, when you want to change the direction of the car, it just feels so planted, it, it, it has so much of grip and I, and I have done the, the the turn test on this car as well and I, and I sometimes I, I do turns at far higher speeds than I would do in other cars and that is the brilliance about this car also the the fact is that uh, again the, the the engine lags initially around 2500 uh, up to 2500 rpm when the when the when the boost is building up this car comes with a cvt uh, transmission so initially it takes a bit of a lag so it takes about uh, about up to 2500 rpm before which the boost kicks in and also the cvt starts to sh uh, work quite well but after that oh my goodness <laughs> it is I, I i'm sorry i just keep doing this all the time and and that is the reason i've been averaging only about nine kilometers per liter but i'm pretty sure you can do far decent than my average as well if you drive it economically but i don't care i am always trying to go about 2500 and trying to feel oh my <laughs> trying to feel the, the 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 far how fast this car is and every single time i push this car it puts a smile on my face and continuing on the power delivery is pretty smooth up, uh, even after the turbo uh, kicks in and and because of the iv tech honda honda has made sure that the power delivery is pretty smooth because the steering functions like a dart and and it, and the car feels pretty planted but there is slight bit of a body roll which i still have a complaint about like when you take sharp turns but otherwise the the car feels pretty amazing what is not written in the car spec sheet is this and that is that it can just go super fast and fast is the only way this car knows and i'm i'm sure it is it, is it's, it's going to be very difficult when you drive this car to contain your excitement about driving this car slow bear in mind that you will be able to cruise along at quite comfortable speeds as well even at comfort uh, at speeds below 100 this car is pretty smooth you wouldn't find problems in terms of comfort because though the suspensions are on the harder side and that is how it gets this brilliant handling and also the performance but the seats are quite comfortable and that is the reason why your ride is also comfortable and it cruises along at lower speeds quite well when you when you press the throttle completely then it's it's going to amaze you but otherwise it's it's pretty comfortable cruiser as well and because the steering wheel is so light and it's just got that the, the steering wheel itself has a very nice feeling to it a very solid one and just the right size and because it's smooth and just the right amount also giving me everything about the road surface what is going on although this car weighs about 1300 kilograms and in spite of that it still maneuvers well so the car comes with four disc brakes and each of them would work really quite well the amount of power that this car comes in and it is quite surprising that again that you know it's a 1.5 liter and produces so much of power but because the the brakes are so responsive and you get that confidence while driving the car as well and also the gear shifts are pretty smooth i i mean it's a cvt but yet it's pretty smooth and also it comes with the paddle shift gear box because why not make the car more sporty by giving you the paddle shift so the shifts are pretty crisp pretty fast and pretty on point whenever you want them to change the gears and there is very bare amount of change or or, or timing that you would notice in terms of the gear change i think all in all this car is pretty agile sporty aggressive and pretty nimble to drive and because it's so light in terms of its feel bear in mind there is there is 
there is this lightness but not at any point you would find the car being unbalanced because the car is so easy to maneuver you may think of it as being a very small car with a very small wheel base but then it's 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 a proper kind of mid-level sedan as well but yet it tries to cleverly hide that using the performance and also there is a slight issue with the rear window and that is that it's a little small because of the way that the car hunches upwards at the back and because of its design but that's really not an issue and I, I, I don't think I would ever mind if there is any of these problems to be honest with you. So inside the car comes with your standard dashboard with a center screen in between with all the information to display out there and it also there is one clever feature where it shows the boost in the car as well you can change those settings and you can see the boost and that's like a dream if you are a car nerd the steering wheel is fairly simple and easy to use you get your cruise control you get your infotainment controls on all this side and again one big improvement which I see from Honda side is the infotainment system. Now infotainment system is so well made. I see quite a bit of improvement in this version because it is fast, it is responsive, it is, it is super quick. Although it is pretty much similar to the one in CRV but you can change the color codes in them and you can, uh, to, you can customize it as per your liking. And that is one good thing which, you know, which Honda has done in this case and the controls are pretty easy to use although there, is, there are touch buttons on the sides for your home, for your volume, you can do a slider for your volume as well, there is a menu, there is everything on the sides as well which is a touch screen. But apart from that the, the whole layout of the system is pretty good, you can also change the theme on the, on the infotainment system which is quite a good thing. Moving on to the air conditioning, air conditioning again I've mentioned before in my other videos that Honda has one of the best air conditioning system and which is evident in this car as well because sit down and it's got some amazing cooling effect immediately the moment you sit down into the car and start the car. This car also comes with keyless start system as well. So you can remotely start the car before sitting in the car so that is quite a useful feature during the summer you can let your car cool before you come into it and also the air conditioning is pretty simple and you get manual knobs for everything your temperature control and there is a dual climate control for the passenger as well there are rear ac vents on the back as well there is there is fairly button everything is controlled via the buttons your your entire climate control system now the car comes with leather stitched seats which which are pretty comfortable and the quality of leather is pretty nice as well although the 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 back seats are a little cramped i would say when 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 you push these seats uh, or a taller person is sitting and pushes the seats uh, a, a little behind but then otherwise it's uh, the seats are pretty comfortable and love the quality of the materials that they've used especially the double color two-tone leather that they've used with the stitching as well honda's obsession with hdmi continues so you get an hdmi port and also a usb port and also one socket as well and uh, also an auxiliary port but that is all in the front but the rear passengers there is nothing in the back so it only comes in the front underneath the the center console you get this storage space at the bottom as well now in terms of uh, storage there is very minimum amount of storage on your door cards uh, uh, on all all your four doors but then there is one in the center as well which is big enough to hold a bottle and also quite a bit of stuff the glove box is also available which is quite big and it is quite spacious as well the car also comes with a sunroof now in terms of safety system this comes with an abs system there are side uh, there are two airbags in the front for driver and the passenger and also there are side and curtain airbags as well and it also comes with ebd electronic brake distribution and also ess emergency stop uh, signal and there is a hill hill assist system as well there is the tire pressure monitoring system then and, and and a lot of useful features that you find on all your honda cars pretty much and it is available in this as well 
So in terms of safety, there is no compromise. Also, this car comes with a two camera system, which is one on your uh, right hand side mirror and one in the rear as well for your reverse parking. So the right hand side system, now that I spoke with one of the Honda guys and they explained me, it is that I explained before in my last video as well during the Honda CRV that it is so that you don't get distracted by moving your head around and you know watching the, the mirror on your side right right so instead it just gives you on your screen and that is why there is only a single mirror uh, sorry I'm sorry a single camera on the right hand side mirror and not on the left hand side and now that I think of it it's a pretty neat feature now as with different models in Honda you don't get too many modes in Honda as well so there is one econ mode where you can where everything switches to the economical mode and then you can save quite a bit of fuel but otherwise the gear stick is fairly simple it comes with your parking reverse neutral and your d drive and also it comes with a sport mode and then when you combine the sport mode, uh, sport mode with the paddle shift it just becomes so much alive and the, the the whole response time just reduces in the car itself that is pretty much it about this car and i think for me if a car brings a smile to your face then that is the car that you should be driving and trust me on this this car will definitely get you the smile because bear in mind this car is comfortable when you want it to be but when you want the car to trash around or when you want to go really fast or when you want the car to perform as 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 a, as a really sporty one then this is the this is the car that is going to do that and it is not going to disappoint you because this will definitely bring a smile on your face when you drive it and it, it is going to make you excited every single time that you enter in this car and take my word for this you are not going to regret after buying this car anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come and i shall see you in the next video bye bye